And hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to another brand new video for Gaming with GS, and today we're on Guild Wars 2, and I want to go over a neat little gold trick on basically something that happened in the community and in the game actually quite recently. Uh, on Reddit, there was a post two days ago about someone, and there's a lot of people standing here in my little still shot here. Let's just stand on top of these crates. Uh, so, two days ago on Reddit, somebody actually came up with a method to decrease the price of leather. Right now, leather is below 6 silver. It's around 5 silver and 70 copper. Now, leather has always been really expensive because it's used for guild halls, it's used for legendary crafting, it's used for ascended crafting, and quite frankly, uh, some of the level 40, level 30, level 50 leather, not many people get because they usually power level past those levels, and what happens is they end up being really expensive. Sort of like what happens with cotton and um, linen, however, leather is a bit more rare apparently. So, uh, some guy basically came on Reddit and said, hey, if you buy armor from the PvP vendor, throw them into Mystic Forge and then salvage them, you can get leather off of that and you can either sell it on a trading post to make some profit or you can keep it for yourself because it's cheaper than the trading post value anyway. So that method got out on reddit and i i wasn't even quick enough to make a video out for it because i mean that was just something that was at the spur of the moment and it wouldn't have been a really a great idea to make a video on that because prices would have just dropped so quickly and a lot of you wouldn't be able to benefit from that method so what happened is that well now leather prices have de decreased to like five silver and 70 copper or something like that and they were usually six silver and like 40 copper so it's decreased by like almost an entire silver, which is huge. Uh, so what does this mean for you? How can you salvage some profit off of this? Well, in the background, you should see some footage right now of me buying leather, rugged, rugged leather uh, sections. Now, rugged leather sections, like I said, are running about five silver and 70 copper. I ended up buying 250 of those. And what you'll see is that it rounds up to about 13 gold and 90 silver. Now, I went ahead to my tailoring crafting station, and I turned all those leather sections into rugged leather squares. All 250 into 125 rugged leather squares, right? And I sold all that for another 18 gold, and I think, like, what was it? Like, 20 silver? 18, 20? And with all the fees off, with all the listing fees, with all the trading post crap, with all that stuff off, you're making over a gold profit. Now, how, how, how is it that this is so easy? How can you just buy 250 rugged leather sections and just turn them into, you know, rather rugged leather squares? Well, here's where this entire event that happened on Reddit came in. And um, just for those of you watching right now, don't jump on your computer and real quickly log on to Guild Wars 2 and buy all the leather, buy all the leather sections. Because if you're watching in the far future, uh, this method may not be applicable for you anymore. However, I do encourage you to continue watching because the method that I'm going to be going over right now is showing you how to apply this sort of market manipulation to several different items. It doesn't just have to be with leather. Right now, currently in the game, as of today, which is May 24th, I think it is, leather is a great way to do this. However, you can apply this method to so many other materials if you just look at the graphs of specific items. So let's take a look at the graphs real quick to show you what I'm talking about. Now here I have TP Calc open when I was basically buying leather. Uh, you want to have TP Calc always for you to make sure that you're making investment. I just see we made an 8% profit off of that. And, well, doing this plenty of times gets you a ton of gold. And for those of you who are wondering, well, hey, does, do these things even sell? We go back on GW2 real quick. Let's see if they actually sold. Oh, yeah, they actually did sell because they actually did sell, as you see right here. Because I picked up all the money already. I see they, all of them sold already. So we actually made a profit. So let's go ahead and look at the graphs real quick, like, like I said. So here you'll see that on May 22nd, uh, over six silver right here. But after the Reddit post and after so many people did that method I explained, which I'm gonna go over as well, because it is important for this little manipulation process, prices dropped heavily, going all the way down to a low five silver right here. And uh, pretty crazy actually how that happened. The same thing, however, you see a very dramatic drop here, very dramatic drop here. But if you take a look at leather squares, not as much of a dramatic drop. 
And this is because people really didn't turn their uh, leather sections into squares. Some people did, but not all of them. Most people just put the put the sections in the market. And this meant that s sections dropped dramatically low, but squares didn't drop as dramatically low. So I was thinking, well, if one material dropped really low, but the other one didn't, wouldn't that mean that I can buy a bunch of the really low materials and turn them into the not really low materials and then make profit out of it? And that's exactly what happened. What you can do, if you're analyzing certain, if you're analyzing certain um, things like this, what you can do is take a look at the value right now. For example, take a look at the buy listing right now. The buy listing for this is 1286, and the sell listing for this is uh, 1438. Well, 1217 and 1438. 1438 is what you're looking at. You're looking for sell listings, right? So we go to we go over here and type in let's reset this. 1438. 38. That's how much you're gonna be selling it for. And now, well, we need two of these uh, sections to make it. So here you want to take a look at. Uh, you can buy these instantly because if you take a look at the buy listing and the sell listing, they're relatively close, only two copper apart. So you can just buy these instantly. If you see a larger gap between the buy and the sell listing, you may want to go for sell listing and buy it off from there. But I just bought it off buy listing, so that's 557. And 557 times 2 would be around uh, 11 silver and 4 copper, I believe. So 11 silver and 4 copper, let's just say. You're making over a silver profit. Now, multiply this times 250, we're making almost 3 gold profit right so that's how you want to do this type of thing and if you want to test it out in game just buy two of the just buy two of the uh sections turn them into one square and see if you made some profit off of it see if you actually sold for more than you bought currently this is really good with leather because well because leather right now dropped really dramatically. However, like I said, you can apply this to scraps, you can apply this to ingots, you can apply this to ore, you can apply this to many different things. You just gotta analyze the market and check different materials. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What happens if everyone does this? The price is just gonna go really low, it's not gonna be profitable anymore. Yes, that is true. Let's go back into Guild Wars 2 right now and show you how you can counter this. So, let's go and look at the trading post right now. Um, currently, I sold these, right? I sold these for around, well, right now some guy has dropped a real low. But I sold these for around 1457, I believe it was. I sold them right around here and all of mine sold right now. However, if you take a look, let's say people keep on doing it. Let's say everyone's buying these sections and everyone's turning them into squares, right? This price is going to decrease and decrease and decrease. It'll go to 13 silver, it'll go to 12 silver, it'll go to 11 silver. There's going to be a lot of these in the market. And people will end up either buying a ton of these instead of turning the sections into squares themselves. Or what's, what's also going to happen is that sections, which are right here, these are also going to decrease in price a lot. Because if one of them decreases in price, eventually the other will decrease in price too. That's either one thing that's going to happen. And if that happens, well then, we've actually done something pretty awesome because we've decreased the leather market. The leather market is annoyingly high and it costs so much right now. So if all of us do this, we can actually decrease the leather market really low. And heck, guild upgrades will be a lot easier. And, and everything will be a lot easier for us. However, the other thing that can happen is that uh, rugged leather sections will actually become more expensive. Because as more people are doing this, as more people are just buying the sections off the trading post and turning them into squares, this will actually become a lot more expensive. Perhaps it'll go back up to six silver. And when that happens, well, what's going to happen to the squares? They're eventually going to balance out back to the old price of around 16 silver or so. So what happens when this goes back to six, six silver? Let's just say that happens, right? What you can then do is, well, do the method that was posted on Reddit, which was go to your PvP lobby. Because right now, I'm not sure if this is still profitable. I mean, I guess you could make some profit out of this. We'll find out right now. I'm not going to buy like 250 of these. I'm going to buy like maybe two of these and show you what's happening. 
Um, but we'll see what happens. Now you can, like I said, you right now you can do this with coarse leather as well. You can do this with different types of leather. You don't need, you don't need to look at rugged leather. You can look at coarse leather as well. Coarse leather has also been, that's also been dropping really a lot because the post on Reddit actually was talking about coarse and rugged leather. So, uh, typically speaking, you can do this with coarse leather as well. Just buy the coarse leather and turn them into squares uh, because you'll see that this method right here in the PvP lobby, it depends on what level you are. So what you'll need actually, and well, I'm on the wrong character because you, you're going to need a level 40 level 40 ish character anything below 50 really and above 40 anything below 50 and above 40 so here i have my necro which looks really weird because i haven't uh done much fashion work on her she's sort of just there for like uh silver waist bag opening and stuff like this so uh yeah the level 40 area is like the magic level to keep a character because a lot of the tier 4 and tier 5 crafting materials tend to always be really high but here is the armor guy right the armor guy in edge in the, in the pvp area which is like right in this area right here where is it right right around here if you talk to this guy right and you buy the cheapest rawhide armor which is the bracers here and be aware, I'm level 49, so it's actually better if you're around level 40 or 44, because you're going to be able to buy the level 40 armor. And the level 40 armor will allow you to get coarse leather and rugged leather. So uh, you may want to do that, but it still works with buying level 45 armor. This armor is basically assigned to your level. Uh, so if you're level 49, it'll give you level 45 armor. If you're level 40, it'll give you level 40 armor. If you're level 42, it'll give you level 40 armor. So that's why this is like that. But what you can do is just, let, let's just buy eight of these real quick. All right, let's buy eight of these. Buy. I'll be seeing you. And what we'll then do is we're going to go to Lion's Arch and go to the Mystic Forge. Now, when you drop four of these into the Mystic Forge, you're actually going to get um, one kind of glove that can be salvaged. And when they can be salvaged, you'll see that we can act. I mean, yeah, when they can be salvaged, you'll see we actually get uh, sections off of these leather sections. And so what happens is that this entire method sort of balances out because the more people are doing the, oh, yeah, let's buy all the sections and turn them into squares, the sections will become more expensive. And then when you see that that happens, it's not really profitable anymore to buy sections and turn them into squares. Well, then you switch to this method. You switch to this method where you just buy the armor and turn them into sections to once again decrease the price of the sections. And once the sections are decreased in price and they're low enough, then you can switch to the other method again, which is buy the sections and turn them into squares. So it's a neat little it's neat, neat little trick that you can actually uh, alternate between two methods depending on what the price of each item is. If sections are lower, well, then buy them and turn them into squares. If squares are not as high anymore and, you know, sections are really high and they're not profitable anymore, well, then just do this method right here. So here we're going to go ahead and throw four of these in, like so. And you see we get one of those. Same thing here. Four of these in. And we get one of those. Now... Uh, you want to use, I'm going to be using a fine salvaging kit, but you essentially want to use a, uh, a mystic salvaging kit. Especially if you're, especially if you're, if you're doing the uh, level 40 armor, because you'll be able to get uh, rugged as well. But as you see, when we salvage this, we're actually getting rugged leather sections. Now, we bought these, we bought these gloves for... Uh, it was 150 for each, so we bought eight of them. 150 times eight is 12 silver, I believe, right? We must all fight. So, if we were to sell this right now, guess what? The 12 silver that we just got turns up into 16 silver. So, if we take a look at uh, our TP calc, let's see if we're still making a profit. So we bought it for around 12 and we're selling it for 16. We are still making a profit of one silver and 60 copper. Eventually, you won't make any profit off of this anymore. Eventually, the price of leather sections will be so low that 
buying the gloves from the armor guy will be more expensive than actually selling the leather. And in fact, I actually got an unlucky salvage because I only got one piece of leather off of one of the gloves and I got two pieces of leather off the other glove. On average, you'll get two pieces of leather. So you'll actually make around six silver profit rather than one silver because you'll have four leather sections and you'll make uh, an extra five silver. So even if you get an unlucky salvage, you're still making a profit. So you can do this on a mass level, say buy 80 gloves and then turn them into a ton of rugged leather sections and you can sell and make a pretty good amount of profit. Now, like I said, once sections get too low, it won't be profitable anymore to buy gloves. Well, then just turn to the other method, buy the sections, turn them into squares and sell the squares and you'll still make profit. And you could do this with any type of method, any type of material, really. Just check the graphs on GB2Spidey. If you want to do it with ore, check ore. If you want to do it with um, scraps, check scraps and check leather. And there's many different ways you could do this. Apply this method to different things and you'll be able to manipulate the market as well as decrease prices on certain markets or, you know, make take advantage of certain peaks and certain drops. And that's kind of how manipulating the trading post goes and taking advantage of community things like this where one guy finds something out and you see a huge drop, well, take advantage of that. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Hopefully you found it interesting and, you know, informative for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other Guild Wars 2 content, plenty of other gold tricks. You have so many gold tricks already by now. If you want to check all of them out, uh, you can. Plenty of them on the channel. Plenty more Guild Wars 2 content to come as well. So I encourage you to subscribe. And uh, I also have a uh, tutorials channel, a vlogging channel, an advice channel, a music channel, as well as a Patreon if you want to check all those out. Links are in the description as well as on the end card. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to go over. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Now Smart. And I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.